Shut up in there and get back to work. Pay no attention to my wife. She's around the corner in the home office working from home sick today. I'm sick. I'm probably going to voice over some of this. I got a sore throat. I'm all snotted up. So is she. We're just going to hear her coughing and hacking from around the corner. But as promised, we're going to get back into this little truck. The Team Associated Pro 2 LT 110 SW. Boy, that's a long name. I got to look at the side of the body to read it. Today we're going to tear the rear end apart, we're going to get inside this transmission, open up the diff, and I guarantee there's probably some thin oil in there. I'm going to put 200k fluid in there, I just did that in my Bandit, while I haven't run it yet, it feels really good on the bench, I like a nice tight ball diff, so I think the 200k fluid is going to be pretty awesome. <laughs> Go back to work. Oh, your hair is a mess. If you're new to working on RC cars, anytime you're taking something apart for the first time, you take the bolts out, especially something like this rear, uh, this is a pretty complex piece here, this rear body mount slash uh, rear bumper mount. Uh, I like to put the, bolt, put the screws back in the piece where they came out of, that way you don't get them mixed up and set it aside. When you're gonna work on stuff like transmissions, you don't wanna get any dirt in there. And once you get that body mount off, I can see there's a lot of dirt in here from when I've been running this. Use a two inch paintbrush. They work good for getting them, them long bristles work good for getting down in the nooks and crannies and getting dirt out of there. You don't wanna get any of that dirt and debris in your transmission stuck in the grease. Don't forget to stay hydrated. Aside from taking the rear bumper mount off and body mount, uh, that transmission comes out of this thing really quick. There's actually only four bolts to hold it in. We're done with the chassis for now. Let's set that aside. One, two, three, four, five, two millimeter hexes. Pull this side off and pop the diff right out. There's the diff. Oh, there's nothing in there. Pull this thing up, mound it up. And it'll take a while to all settle down in there. The air's out. Put this gasket back on here. Put the cover back on. Oh yeah. Now that's really stiff to turn, but once you have your wheels and tires on and you're turning them, it's obviously you're gonna have more leverage, it's not gonna feel as tight, but that's this is my preference right here. I'm sure a lot of people will disagree, but this is what I like to drive with. Yep, slap everything back together, and we're gonna go try this thing out. Nice and stiff. This thing's gonna work good. I knew I'd never get it again. Slight changes on the layout. They took the chicane out of the middle of the sweeper and put it back to the original sweeper. It flows really nice now. I uh, always did. This is all the same. And then down here, they took some dirt off the spine, filled in the devil's butt crack over there with it. Just a couple small changes and it flows really good.
clipped a pipe and I thought I broke a ball in, but here it popped off the steering rack and the ball stud came out of the um, the steering knuckle, turnbuckle, whatever it's called. I didn't realize there's nuts on the bottom that are recessed in that the ball stud screws into. One of them nuts fell off. Uh, so I went next door to the shop, got a random one, stuck it in there. Uh, so I never went around and checked any nuts and bolts to make sure they're tight on this. You should probably do that. I'm gonna try the old baloney skin tires one more time. Time to retire these old AKA Ultra Softs. They are just too loose. They're like Laffy Taffy. So long, old friends. We won lots of races together. 200K in the rear end performed pretty good. It might be a little too thick for the tight 180 turns, um, but I think I think it's going to get better as it wears down a little bit. Or maybe I'll drop down to a slightly thinner oil. I'm not sure yet. We're going to stick with the 200 for now. Couldn't actually compare lap times because they changed the layout a little bit and, and lap times are actually faster now. But what I'm going to do is compare the lap times from before to today and then we'll look at some buggy lap times from the last layout compared to lap times they're getting now. And through deduction, we'll figure out how much faster this thing's going. Is that right? Deduce? Deduction? <laughs> Douche? Here's another thing I found out. Somebody let me in on a little secret. You cannot adjust the brakes typically, but what you can do is fool the ESC into it. When you calibrate the radio to the ESC, you can fool it by manipulating these knobs. Typical process for calibrating is the button down. First beep, you do neutral. Second beep is full throttle. Uh, third beep is full brake. And typically you do that with your with your dual rate throttle all the way at max, which is number seven. The way you can fool it is you turn that knob, let's say you want about 50% brake, which I do. Turn the knob down to 50%, start your calibration, calibrate neutral and full throttle with the dual rate set at like number four or three and a half for 50% brake. And then when you get to the last step to calibrate the brake, you turn the knob back to turn the knob all the way back to max. Hit the button and calibrate your brake, and then when you're done calibrating, turn the throttle knob all the way back, back to three and a half or four, wherever you had it set in the beginning, and then you'll have full throttle, neutral, and when you hit the brakes max, it's only going to give you 40 or 50 percent wherever you set that knob to fool it. It works great. Definitely a great way to get less braking without having to change the ESC. Hey, filming's in progress in here. That's all I got for now on this truck. Not sure what we're going to do next with it. We're going to do something. I got some monster truck stuff to get to. Really important stuff. See you soon.